What is up, everybody? It is your boy Jay Figs back with another video, man. And today I got a bit of a crazy one, man. As you guys can see, I got some crazy figures in here. I got the Chase Samu, I got the Chase Shamrock, I got the brand new Top Picks Jimmy Uso, I got this crazy Ultimate Edition Warrior here. I got the superstars, Scott Hall right there, and I got them all for crazy prices. Uh, I'll get more into it right now, but let's just stop talking and get into the video, boys. Let's go. Now, I know you guys are probably wondering, like, where the hell did you get these crazy figures for such a great price, man? I actually got them from a Target and a Walmart that was kind of far from my house. But, I mean, it was 100% worth it, in my opinion. I got this Samu for basically $10. I got that Chase Shamrock for about $10. I got this freaking Ultimate Edition for around $15. And uh, these two I paid basically retail for. But I don't mind because this is a brand new Jimmy Uso figure. It's a great, awesome figure that I've been needing for quite some time. And uh, as you guys know, I've been really into these Superstars figures. And to find that Skull Hall at retail is pretty nice. But uh, yeah, guys, nonetheless, man, let's just wrap this up, man. And let's get right into the unboxing. Let's go. Now, like we always do on every single unboxing on the channel, we just got to do it, man. Every single time. You guys already know, boys. It's the trusty babe knife. Let's get it. <laughs> All right, now a bit of a curveball. I'm going to be starting from the right side this time and moving my way onto the left. So let's just stop talking. Let's go. I'm going to open up Samu Chase variant right here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm actually tweaking right now. I forgot to mention that I'm actually going to be keeping the Samu mints on card. I know I always say I'm not a mint collector. I'm not a mock collector, but I already have his base variant and I don't really feel like opening this Chase variant right now. Uh, I don't know. I, for whatever reason, I just feel like this might go up in value uh, in the future. So for now, guys, I'm sorry. I'm not going to open this one on the channel, but I'm glad you guys got to see a, a little quick sneak peek of what I found. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and open up Warrior now. Let's go. So let's uh, take Warrior right here and open him up. All right, guys, we got Warrior straight up out of the packaging there. Going to move straight on to Jimmy Uso. Let's get it, boys. Come on. All right, guys, let's just move into Shamrock now. guys and now for the last one to open we're gonna go ahead and open up this beautiful skull hall superstars figure let's go man all right guys here are the figures finally completely out of the packaging absolutely annihilated those boxes like i usually do on the channel but anyways guys let's get straight into the freaking review of each of these figures man let's go now starting off i'm just gonna get this one straight out of the way it is gonna be this superstar series 2 i believe it is uh scott hall in his nwo gear uh, i'm not gonna lie this is actually a really nice figure comes with great accessories a lot of detail in this for such a, a tiny little figure man i really like these figures from mattel i love the accessories you know they really go all out for these figures but yeah let's uh let's take a look at this head sculpt real quick uh there you go there's skull hall there is razor ramon whatever you guys want to call them there uh it's just a cartoony head sculpt uh nothing too nothing to be taken serious really it's uh just a, like a gimmick figure it's pretty nice though i really do enjoy it like i said he comes with this nice little dripping uh spray painted knee pads right there in red got the red boots with the black laces there and the white outsoles pretty nice comes with obviously this beautiful wcw world tag team championship and man i love this championship so much uh, actually my first one of these and uh, i'm actually glad i finally have it because man look at this sculpting man i know it's a dull belt it's not shiny but i just like that i don't know it just looks super nice to me i uh, got the nice little hints of blue red and black there uh, world wrestling champions right there wcw tag team obviously beautiful championship uh let's move on to his other accessories though all right guys now for hall's accessories skull hall's accessories he comes with this beautiful nwo black t-shirt with a white graphic there absolutely love this t-shirt man this t-shirt is so damn iconic so nice uh probably gonna go on a crowd member though or i might keep it on him actually i'm not sure yet 
He also does come with these nice little black out shades. Uh, I like the shape of these, you know, it's kind of different than the normal like sunglasses that Mattel gives us with the normal figures, which I actually really like. I hope these go into normal figures. I'll see right now in a second, but I like the shape of these. They're pretty nice. Uh, they fit on the figure really well. He also does come with this nice little spray can, you know, little uh, spray paint can. Uh, really nice touch. Uh, I don't have one of these, so it's pretty cool. You know, probably throw it up with one of my figures in the Fed, you know, have them spray paint a title or something. Uh, it looks pretty cool, man. He also does come with a plethora of other hands. Here he has two closed fist hands. Uh, I believe he comes with a mic holding hand and a choke slamming hand. Yeah, on, on by default. He also comes with these two sweet hands, which are pretty freaking sweet, man. Obviously, you know, too sweet. Uh, I think these look like they clip onto normal figures as well. I'm not sure. They look just like normal uh, hands that, that, that would go onto a normal elites i'm not sure i'll have to see about that in a second but yeah uh tons of accessories man they absolutely outdid themselves with the skull hall but here he is without any of his accessories on uh beautiful man has the hairy chest like obviously skull hall razor ramon does nothing on the back of his back obviously he says wolf pack right there uh hall on the front of his gear wolf pack on the butt cheeks you know paws red drippy knee pads red drippy uh elbow pad one blackout elbow pad Beautiful figure, man. Absolutely love it. But let's move on, man. Enough of this figure. Let's go. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it. But guys, moving on from that beautiful Skull Hall figure that you guys just saw. Here is the Ken Shamrock uh, Legends. I'm not sure what series it is, but I know it's a Target exclusive Legends line, obviously. This is the Chase variant. And I know you guys are probably asking, like, oh, man, why are you opening up this Chase variant and not the Samu Chase variant? Man, I have my reasons, all right, man? I think, I don't know, man. I just have a weird feeling about that freaking uh, Samu and those freaking uh, Samoan guys just going up in some, some crazy value in the future. I don't know why. I just have a feeling. This guy obviously was seeing. There was, like, 20 of them there at the Target that I that I was at. But anyways, man, enough yapping. Let's just get into the figure, man. Uh, not too much accessory with Shamrock, unfortunately. He obviously does come with this beautiful oval Intercontinental Championship, which I absolutely love. Uh, it's a little bit more gold than the uh, like the usual one, like the ones you guys saw in my championship uh, title collection. Those were like a, lo a lot more like, I don't know, like silvery kind of. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but this is a lot more gold. I don't think it's that accurate. It has a scratch logo, obviously. You guys know this belt, man. It's so freaking iconic right here. He also does come with uh, mic holding hands. He obviously has one on by default, I think. Oh, no, he doesn't. What the hell am I talking about? He comes with two mic holding hands and these gloved hands, like MMA freaking glove hands which I absolutely hate. Just something about the mold I don't like. He comes with two, uh, one pointing finger set of hands, gloved, obviously. Again, I hate it. As you guys can see, the paint uh, applications are not the best on these, which is another reason why I hate them. He comes with a pair of closed fists on by default. And uh, as you guys can see, it says Shamrock there on the freaking meat of the freaking gear paws. Got these terrible, terrible knee pads. Uh, the mold, obviously. The, the aesthetic is pretty nice. The look of them are obviously pretty nice. Comes with kick pads, blue kick pads, which are actually pretty nice. I actually really like them. Uh, I'm thinking of doing a custom with this figure. Uh, I don't know, man. But yeah, he comes with this super jacked freaking torso. The head scan could have been better. I feel like it just lacks resemblance to Ken Shamrock. Uh, double jointed arms, obviously. Pretty jacked arms. Yeah, this, pro this figure is probably just going to go to fodder. Uh, I'm not sure yet. It says Shamrock there, obviously. Nothing on the back. Blue gear variant. Uh, let's move on. This figure's terrible, guys. Let's go. Now, moving on to the brand new Top Picks Jimmy Uso figure. Absolutely beautiful figure, man. I love this figure so much. Uh, here it is, man. Has that beautiful head sculpt right there. Look at that, man. Absolutely beautiful head sculpt. Got the half black hair, half red hair. So damn nice. In the Bloodline gear. Obviously, in the black joggers. The joggers, like the Usos usually wear. Got the nice little red streak right there on the calf got the white kicks looking straight saucy has the full black sleeve which i actually really do like uh glad it's not like a freaking half sleeve or like a 60 percent sleeve like they usually do got the nice little tats right there got the tat on the chest right here obviously comes with this beautiful little floral necklace with the green little leaves on there uh like i said man get me in the bloodline i'd be a crazy member i'd be like the next solo sokoa uh jay sokoa part two you know what i'm saying what Bro, what are you talking about, man? Bro, I'm out, man. Anyways, he comes with this nice little blue SmackDown Tag Team Champion with a silver plate, the nickel, the nickel Tag Team Champions. Uh, pretty nice, obviously. Good to always get belts with your figures. Uh, adds value to them, obviously. He comes with this nice little Usos hat, black snapback. Pretty nice, fits really well on the figure, as you guys can clearly see. Looks absolutely saucy there. 
Uh, I'm just so glad to finally have another updated J. Uh, sorry, Jimmy Uso. I have a ton of updated J's, but all my Jimmy's are just dated. They're from like, I don't even know how many series ago, but no double jointed arms. Obviously, terrible head sculpts on the old Jimmy Uso figures. But man, I'm glad I finally have another freaking Jimmy Uso, an updated one at that. And this obviously is uh, like the SummerSlam J Uso. If you guys uh, haven't seen my review on that, it's. It's pretty old. It was like a month ago. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's basically the same gear as the Jimmy Uso that came in the SummerSlam series set. So this is absolutely beautiful. It goes to match that figure. Uh, but yeah, guys, let's move on to the Ultimate Warrior figure now. I forgot to mention that freaking Jimmy obviously comes with some interchangeable hands. He comes with a set of mic holding hands. One comes on by default on the figure. And he comes with a set of closed fist hands. Obviously, one comes on the figure by default. But anyways, guys, let's move straight on to the warrior figure. Let's go. Moving on to the ultimate warrior figure. This figure is, uh, it's pretty decent, man. Uh, this figure was sitting for so freaking long at my local targets, man. But, you know, I found this today and it was on sale for about 15 bucks. So I couldn't pass up on it. It's an ultimate edition figure. You know, you can't, you literally cannot say no to a $15 ultimate figure. Even if it's one that you don't want or don't need. But man, this figure is actually pretty damn sweet. It's pretty decent, man. Look at this. You got the crazy cloth goods entrance coat on Warrior Man. Look at this crazy graphic, this crazy design. Obviously, it says Ultimate Warrior there on the front in blue. Man, this jacket is so freaking crazy. You got the nice little collar there with like the red, the orange, the yellow. Absolutely beautiful, man. But this right here, this is this is just this is just freaking insane. Absolutely goaded stuff from Mattel once again. Got the nice little picture of him and Macho Man right there on the back. Both wearing the WWF titles, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm not sure. With an explosion behind them. Got the iconic little warrior eyes, warrior uh, face paint symbol there. Here's the head sculpt. I'll be honest though, this head sculpt is absolutely dog water. Absolutely terrible. Here's the gear. Him and Macho Man right there. Uh, him and Macho Man on the knee pads again. Got these nice little pink flare thingies i don't even know what the hell you call these like what are these called on the freaking uh i don't even know man these little fl these little fluffy things on his legs got the boots there with the ultimate warrior logo right there double jointed or toe joints whatever the hell you want to call it the figure obviously does come with butterfly joints and double jointed arms it is obviously an ultimate edition figure i wonder if this one comes with that new yeah it does come with that new like thigh like i don't even know what the hell you call this it's nice little articulation that adds to the figure that they added to the figure sorry uh here's the back of the gear means much more than this uh looks like the wwf title yeah it looks like the winged eagle title uh it's a pretty cool gear i just realized that they had they added sculpts to the side of this gear man look at mattel man going freaking straight out of their freaking way to add some sculpts onto the gear nice little fluffy stuff on the gear uh little tassels i guess you can call them i don't even know what they're called really comes with this jack torso obviously but man for 15 bucks and this figure went on sale the sculpts are absolutely insane. Like, look at this, man. They added freaking articulation to the freaking knee pads. Like, what the hell is that, man? Absolutely good stuff from Mattel. Can't believe this figure is just sitting there, man. And it went on sale, went on clearance. Even on the freaking, oh my God, man. This figure, the more I, the more I freaking notice, the more I freaking, oh my God. The more I just freak out because there's so much detail going into this figure, man. And for it to just be sitting is absolutely criminal. Uh, comes with these jack quads. You know, Ultimate Warrior was juicing it up back then, man. Absolutely blasting the gear. Absolutely blasting the trend. Comes with this jack back. I was actually thinking of maybe doing an Eddie Guerrero custom because I'm having so much trouble trying to find that freaking new Walmart exclusive Ultimate Edition. So I was thinking of just maybe torso swapping it. Uh, I know this is a bit jack, maybe too jack for Eddie, but I don't know, man. I think this is like the closest skin tone I'm going to find for Eddie. But let's move on to Warrior's accessories, guys. Let's go. Come on. Now, you guys obviously saw the entrance coat that Warrior came with. He also does come with this nice little shoulder piece. Oh, man. All the detail that Mattel added to this freaking figure is absolutely insane, man. Look at this. Ultimate Warrior right there on the little tassels. Got the nice little images of him and Macho Man just absolutely freaking brawling it out in the ring. Absolutely beautiful stuff. Uh, I know it might not be like the most accurate, like obviously like the detail is not going to be that great because it's so small, but man, for a small little picture on this low gear, man, is absolutely insane stuff from Mattel. Uh, it's pretty nice. I probably won't ever use this. It'll probably just sit in my freaking bin somewhere, unfortunately. Uh, he also does come with a plethora of other hands. Got these nice little like scratching hands, like freaking claw hands, whatever you want to call these. Uh, I just call these like the Von Eric hands, the scratching hands. He comes with these pointing up hands as well. 
these we the one hands this is what i call them because you know it's like what the usos do the roman reigns does the bloodline but here he also comes with this nice little no face paint um head sculpt uh i'll be i'll be honest man i'm not a big fan of the head sculpts on this figure they are absolutely terrible i won't even lie to you guys i just don't feel like this looks like warrior at all i could be wrong you guys are probably tripping like what the hell that looks exactly like warrior but man i'm gonna be honest i don't see no resemblance to warrior even with this head sculpt man i think it's absolutely trash but that's pretty much it for accessories for the Ultimate Warrior. Let's go ahead and wrap up the video, guys. Let's go. But that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know it was a bit of a rush one. It's kind of late here where I'm at right now. So I kind of just wanted to pump out this video quick, get it edited, and just try to get it out this Wednesday, obviously, because I'm trying to upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every single week for you guys because I just want to be consistent as possible, give you guys the best content. But I know the rush content isn't always the best. But I just had to get this video out quick for you guys. But here's basically everything we got today. We obviously got the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Top Picks Jimmy Uso. Superstar Series 2 Scott Hall. The Chase Variant Legends uh, Ken Shamrock. And the Ultimate Edition Ultimate Warrior. I'm not sure what series on that one either. We also picked up the Chase Samu right here. First time in the line. Absolutely beautiful figure. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't want to open it in today's video guys. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to keep it mint on card for a while uh but anyways guys we just hit like 175 subscribers 177 maybe if i'm not wrong the title video hit 4,000 views man absolutely unreal unreal support you guys have been showing on the videos i just cannot thank you guys enough you guys have been absolutely killing the videos man keep doing what you guys do you guys absolutely make my day when you guys leave beautiful comments such nice comments man uh but yeah, man, shout out to everyone who watches the video. Big shout out to my boy. Uh, I think his name is LCW or something like that. Yo, brother comments on almost every video. So big shout out to my brother right there, man. Uh, appreciate all the support. But anyways, guys, that's going to be it for me today. Make sure to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the goddamn post notification bell so you guys never miss another upload. Peace out.